Hello guys and welcome to this channel. I'm your host, Eddie Kanobot, and this is Azaka News. So today I want to take you guys on a tour to the Federal University of Technology, Ikotabasi Temporary Site. So, welcome to the university. So please, let's take a look at what we have inside. Thank you. Alright, so when you come into the complex, what you're going to see is a massive expanse of land that's going to give room for a lot of expansion in the future. And you're going to see this, so this is the gate post where the security man um, is going to be situated to, you know, do what he needs to do. And next, on your left, you're going to see the School of Computing and Information Technology. So let's take a look at some courses that um, this faculty is going to offer. Yes, yeah, so this is the faculty, or the, they call it the School of Computing and Information Technology, and they offer computer science, cyber security, like this is wow. And then also you're going to have the Department of Library and Information Technology. So I'm guessing that this in front of you right now is the building for this um, department or this faculty. So we're going to look at the next building. Right. So right here is the University Lecture Theatre. So a lecture theatre is basically a place where, you know, you'd have very big screens and, you know, massive infrastructure to help people, let's say, um, learn in a more sophisticated way. So this in front of you right now should be the University Lecture Theatre. You know, it looks pretty small, you know, considering the fact that the school is just starting. But um, we are hopeful that in a few years' time, in the permanent site, it may even be a 1000 seater capacity lecture theatre that would better serve the university so we are moving on to the next faculty so welcome to the school of engineering and technology so like i think this is the faculty that actually impressed me the most because the courses available here are out of the box so we're having aerospace engineering we're going to be having department of civil engineering and environmental engineering we're going to be having department of electrical and electronics engineering Department of Mechanical Engineering, even Software Engineering. So this university is truly being built for the future. So in front of us, this is a, a large um, structure and this would be for the faculty or for the School of Engineering and Technology. I really like the concept these guys are using right now, calling these places schools and you know, it's really, really, really beautiful. So next we're going to look um, moving to the Vice Chancellor's Office. It's really tricky because in many universities, you don't get to know the exact location of the vice chancellor's office. You know, but in the Federal University of Technology, Science and Technology, Ikotobasi, you know, they have already displayed the vice chancellor's office. Meaning at any point in time you have a need or have a challenge, you could always walk to this place and, you know, lay your complaint. So this is actually the vice chancellor's office, which my cameraman should be pointing and um so you could come and see him here and just right beside us is the university's library so i like the fact that it's big and although it will be small typically in more well i say bigger universities this would only suit a faculty so probably we say well, faculty of maybe education or faculty of uh, faculty of uh, law this would be um their library but for now being that this is the temporary side of this university so this is the university library and this is what is going to serve the university when, you know, lecture begins. And just ahead of us is um, ongoing work in construction. This is the School of Pure and Applied Sciences. So we're going to be having um, Department of Biochemistry, Department of Mathematics and Statistics, Department of Microbiology and Department of Physics. So what we are seeing here on all the signboards are the courses that are already available for learning in, you know, in the inaugural session. So this is going to kick off uh, in about um, September, October this year, and this is 2023. So by the fourth quarter of this year, we're going to kick off and we're going to be having courses such as this, you know, in this maiden session of the school. So right here is the sit out for the mini stadium. So we're going to be having this, you know, expand um, through the lens down here because just ahead of us you can already see some young people who are having fun and you know playing football so this area is the sports area and this is our mini stadium and like I said this is the temporary site so whatever you're seeing here is something that we're just going to manage 
for as long as we are here until we move you know to the permanent site so just a thing or two about the importance of this university so we are very happy that the president had actually you know thought it will i say wise or kind to actually situate such an institution in ikot obasi akwai bom state because we have been lacking you know in critical um, educational infrastructure in the state and for the people of ikot obasi we are so happy because i'm an in indigenous of this place why are we so happy this university has the capacity to bring in thousands of youths from all the length and breadth of the nation to come to Ikorobasi. So that's more businesses for shop owners, that's more businesses for retails, that's more businesses for you know people who sell around here, that's more people coming to the state and that's more internally generated revenue. So there's a lot of upsides as to situating this um, edifice in Ikorobasi. Now for the state of academia in Nigeria, so the siting of this university is going to help the secondary schools around us to do their best in trying to ensure that you know they are grooming their students to be of a certain quality so that they, they can just turn them up from the secondary schools into this federal university of science and technology so this is what we're going to end for the video thank you for sticking with us i'm your host Ibi Kanogot, and i believe that we had a nice time together i'd like you to follow me on facebook on twitter and on Instagram, and my handle is Edikan Obot. So um, do well to like this video, share it to all those who are in need of, um, who are seeking admission into this university. And like I said earlier, this university is set to open by fourth quarter of this year, between September and October. So do well to apply if you passed your, you know, just um, the just written jam over 180 and above, and you should be getting direct admission into this university. So until we see you again. I remain your host, Edith Kanobot, and Godspeed.